welcome back to Semper Adventure. On today's episode, I'm going to talk about the Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. Uh, the Grand, the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque is um, <clears throat> something that UAE is definitely known for. Um, when you hear people saying that they're going to visit UAE or Dubai, this is probably the one of the biggest things, you know, of course you have the Burj Khalifa and you have the um, large malls like um, the Mall of Dubai and the Emirates Mall that people go and visit, but um, one of the biggest landmarks I would say in UAE is the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. While I feel all religious or spiritual places of worship or meditation are beautiful, you just can't quite compare the beauty to this mosque. Um, you know, UAE is known for doing everything over the top and having the biggest, the best, the most flashy, and um, this mosque is no different than that. Um, the carpet in the mosque is the largest hand-woven carpet in the world. The chandeliers are gold. Um, actually, when I first saw the chandeliers a few years ago, I thought to myself, hmm, these don't match. But um, if you take the guided tour, which is free for everyone, you just have to walk up to the information booth. You don't have to book it in advance. Um, they will tell you that the reason um, for the colors in this is the different stages of the dates, since the country um, is known for dates, you know, the fruit, date trees, um, date palm, that it's the different stages of in which the fruits are ripe. So they start green and then they turn kind of a yellow and then eventually brown. And typically brown is when you eat them, you can eat them at various different stages. But that is the reasoning for the color in these beautiful, gigantic chandeliers. So let's talk about the mosque during COVID or during COVID um, restrictions. Uh, we booked our tickets online. I'm not sure if you can just walk up to the door and, and book them, but before you could just walk up and go. It is free. Of course, a building with such beauty, I would have paid a lot of money to go see, um, but it's free. So it's a great place to go. I will say that it's very hot um, pre-COVID you had to go into the dressing rooms and get an abaya and wear um, your women had to wear their hair covered and they had to be covered from their wrists to their ankles. Um, this is still true when you go to visit the mosque, women and um, I would say teenage girls must wear a head covering as well as um, clothing to their wrists and ankles. Um, it is a modesty thing. It is being respectful to their religion and they will not let you pass if you do not wear that. If you want to try to be slick and pull your head covering off to take some kind of great photo, they will ask you to delete that photo and they will kick you out. Um, this, if you're going into their house of worship, um, you are just, you just need to be respectful and, you know, abide by their wishes. Men and boys should wear pants as well as long sleeve shirts. Um, I do believe that they can wear short sleeve shirts, but again, they do need to wear long pants. It's one day of your life. If you're hot for that moment, it's worth it, I promise you. Um, if you have the tour guide, you are able to walk into that hall where they worship the main um, prayer hall. Um, just the intricate details like you just you have to see it it's all mosaic tile on the walls like all even all the way up it took something like 20 years to build this place um Sheikh Zayed was not able to see it in its final um its finality you know when it was done and the beauty of it um he did pass away and they buried him on site in a Oh gosh, I can't think what it's called. It's a building on the corner and they have recited prayers 24 seven um, ever since he was buried there. Since that was his final resting place. It is the only place in the grounds that you are not allowed to take photography aside from the bathrooms. 
um, where the women will wash their feet. Um, you are not allowed to take um, any pictures there either. But I just cannot, I cannot explain the beauty of this. Um, you can take day trips from Dubai. If you need your one thing you must do while you are in UAE, it is that one. Um, it is more grand than the Burj Khalifa. Um, I just stood there feeling changed. Um, I'm not an overly religious person. I won't get into my religion on here. Um, but I just stood there and I felt small and in wonder. Um, the Muslim religion is beautiful. It is um, to see their culture and to see their beliefs firsthand in um, such a grand place. Um, it can hold up to 41,000 um, worshipers, 41,000 Muslims during like high holidays for them. Um, so it was just amazing. It was beautiful. Um, and I think everyone needs to do this once in their life.
So the takeaways here are you must visit the Sheikh Zayed Grand Mosque. When you do visit, it is free, but you must dress appropriately and respectfully for the um, religious component of, you know, you're visiting a highly sacred place um, for those in UAE. And I would say the third is make sure you're not behind your phone the whole time taking pictures, but you just really take it in. Finally, do the tour. The tour is worth it. You can get an audio tour as well, but I recommend doing a real tour um, with someone right there in the mosque. They will take you um, to all the different places and they'll tell you things. And then you can ask questions like, how many different colors are in the rug or how many different stitches? My kids ask the most ridiculous questions, but our tour guide was fantastic and um, it's definitely worth doing the free tour for that. And that is it. So long from Simper Adventure.